Hello SAPC folks. I hope everyone is doing good. So today we are going to discuss about a scenario, basically a use case. The scenario is that a picklist field is created in one of the objects which have certain values. Now later on the requirement came that a picklist field needs to be created in another object which should contain the same values as the previous picklist field's value. So basically in this situation what we do is we create a global picklist value set and refer it in both the objects fields. So we create the global value sets from here by creating new. But since as I said the previous picklist value field was already created before this requirement came. So is it possible to convert this field's values into a global set without needing to delete this or create the value set manually? Yes, it is possible. So what you have to do is let's take the scenario here. Demo is the object and advertisement type is the picklist field which was earlier created and it has these certain values this newspaper social media now another object called membership the requirement is to create a picklist field o on this object and it should contain the same values as this field's values so first of all we have to convert these values into a global value set then create a new picklist field in this object and refer that global value set over here so how we can do this let's try to edit this field okay so you will find a button called promote to global value set if you click on this all its values will be converted into a global picklist value set so if you see this button is disabled now the reason being there is a checkbox called restrict picklist to values defined in the value set so you need to check this first save this field then again you have to click on edit this time you will see that promote to global value set is now enabled you just need to click on this button so now we are creating a global value set just the one which i showed you over here we are creating it from directly from here so let's name it as media values and then promote to global value set so now see these values are now promoted to global value set you will be able to see this over here as well it's loading yeah yeah media values are available here now you can easily go to another object create a new field over here <clears throat> let's create one new field new pick list type field Okay, select the type as pick list next <clears throat> name it as add type and here we want to use that global value set which we just created media values then next next and then save it <clears throat> So the field has been created over here as well and it contains the same values as that of the other objects quickly filled here. So one most important thing to notice is in order to promote the existing pick, uh, list fields values into a global value set you need to have this checkbox enabled this is known as restrict pick list to the values defined in the value set this is very important. If you want to see from the UI as well, let's go to membership object, try to create any new record, then add type, you will see all those five fields which have been referenced in the global value set. Now let's go to demo object. Click on new. Select any record type. And here also the advertisement field should contain the same values as that of the ad type because they are referencing to the basically to the same global value set which is containing these values. 
i hope this is clear so thanks for watching